uh, people, you know, Mike, are spending more time at home cooking and making drinks. So why not give them a creative way to do that? Okay, I can do that for you. We're going to go back into the archives and okay. bring back some classic Mike's mixes. I do want to stress, we do not want you to drink your way through the COVID-19 outbreak. That's not a good idea. It's not safe. But if you are going to relax with the one or two cocktails later this weekend and want to do it responsibly, let's go back to 2017, a Mike's Mix that may give you some ideas. This week, we are returning to the bar that is out uh, hiding out above Stanley's Northeast Bar Room, and it's bringing the Prohibition era back. So we're at Al's place, uh, which is a uh, speakeasy in northeast Minneapolis. Basically what this is is kind of a roller coaster ride into where Al Capone might have hung out. From your first sight of the green light, the walk upstairs is designed to fill your senses with memories of a bygone era. On your way to a seat of understated elegance, live music drifts from the stage and the scent of family supper floats by. Our food menu straight from the 20s, uh, and if it's not uh, from the 20s, it's from Al Capone's grandma's recipes. So you can get a spaghetti and meatballs uh, made the exact same way that Al Capone's uh, grandma did. Every cocktail comes from the 1920s or before that. What if I come in and want to order uh, a surly beer or a, uh, something more contemporary? Um, so our job is to guide your experience all the time. Vodka comes to America more in the 1950s. We're in the 1920s, so we remind guests that we're in the 1920s. However, we do have some Polish friends who might have provided us with some vodka. For a premium, you can order a cocktail and its history prepared tableside from the captain's menu. Behind the bar, John showed me how they make some of the classics. Honeymoon is kind of a riff on a sidecar. It's made with apple brandy, the original American spirit, first distilled in colonial America in the 1600s from a fruit abundant in the New World. Uh, unaged apple brandy means they're distilling kind of the apple wine that they make, and then they're not going to age it at all. The fat or sweet element come from Pierre Ferrand dry curacao. An all-natural uh, orange liqueur that also incorporates a little bit of cognac into it. And a honey syrup. A little lemon juice balances the sweet with tart. And for a little bit of depth to this cocktail, we're going to use uh, some Benedictine. Benedictine is a French liqueur, has a few uh, anise and cinnamon notes. Shake and garnish with a little slice of orange peel called a coin. Honeymoon. Cheers. Mmm. Nice, light, bright, citrusy, but there is that little. Yeah, complex, kind of herby note toward the end. One thing I love about your menu, John, is that there are non-alcoholic options. So if yeah. you're in your own personal prohibition, for whatever mm -hmm. reason, you Absolutely. can still enjoy something. Absolutely. Um, what's this drink here? So what we've done is kind of made a pomegranate syrup, syrup for original recipe grenadine. So the French word for pomegranate is granada. That's where grenadine comes from. I did not know that. <laughs> okay. Syrup is combined with orange juice and topped with club soda. And the orange elegance. Orange Cheers. elegance. Mmm, that's so good. Good to hear. That's way better than a Diet Coke. <laughs> the recipes for today's cocktails and the mocktail posted at WCCO.com slash links, Jen. All right, that looked good. Thank you, Mike.